So look at the board. I'm going to quickly show you. The snail activity will be found over here. So if I give you a demonstration, I'll go, you guys are 3B. So if I go to 3B, and we choose Anya merely on the basis that she's first on the class list, and we go into Purple Mesh, and you go into Purple Mesh, as Anya, you can see over here that Anya's got two pieces of work that her teachers have placed in Purple Mesh for her to do. Two tasks have been assigned to her, and they're shown in the alert section. But you can go over here. This is the best spot to find work that has been assigned. So it's called the to-do section. You can see the color red always indicates something that's really important. So if you click on to-do, you'll see she will then click on start, and she will start this snail race. Now there's another one, so you do two of them. That's just reinforcement, that's some of the learning, that when you do it a second time, you obviously learn better, because you have repeated it. So I've given you two tasks that are snail races, and that's for Anya. Now I'm going to show you, as Mr. Bradley, I'm going to log out, go back to Mr. Bradley, and I'm going to show you how to do those tasks. You're going to find them in the to-do section. So I'm just going to open them up. But remember, you will find them always in the to-do section. And I'm just going to launch the app to show you how to do the to-do to-dos that are set for you. So the first one says, make your own snail race sequence. It says, first thing, when clicking on the background, background, then I'm going to go and my snail is going to move. But I first want to go to the first one. Make the snail move. So it says, yeah, the snails want to race. Make it move forward one step after clicking on the background. So it says, after clicking on the background. So when clicking on the background, look there. When clicking on the background, then something must happen. Now the background is this part. There is the snail, but everything else is the background. So it's, if you take the snail away, the background will be all the other parts of it, the background. So if I say, when clicking on the background, my snail must move forward. Now look where the code goes. It goes in the click background block. This block. So if I take this away, look, there's a block. So when clicking in the ba background block, then the snail must move forward. And it says one step. Play my code. And when clicking on the background, so I'm going to click here. If I click there, look, it says next challenge. Everything's right. So I go click on that little arrow that was at the top that said next challenge. And now it says your snails are numbered. So it's snail 2, snail 3, snail 4, and snail 5. And are laid out in lanes. So if you look in design mode, you can see they're in lanes. Almost as if they're going to run a race. So and they're all different colors with different numbers. Snail 1 has got a 1 in it. And that's significant because we're going to make snail 1 move one step at a time. Snail 2, two steps at a time. And so forth and so on. So look over there. S clicking on the background, snail 1 moves one step. So that's right. Snail 2 must move forward. Not one step, because it's snail two, therefore it must move two steps, because it's called snail two. Now look, it's in the when clicking background block. When clicking in the background block. But if I say snail three, and I'm going to do it wrong. Look at the board. I'm doing it wrong. This is wrong, because it's not in the when click background block. It's separate. So if I go forward... And because it's called snail 3, I go to 3. If I drag it now, it would be in the when click background block. But when it was over here, it was not in the right place. If it was over here, the snail would automatically start moving. So let's just show that. Look at snail 3. I didn't click on anything. I haven't pressed any button on my mouse. Snail 3 started automatically moving. And that's not right. It's got to only start moving when I click on the background. Therefore, we return to the logic of this when clicking on the background block. So it has to be part of that. So I drag, bring it into the when clicking background block. 
and now it should work purely on the clicking of the background so three of the snails one two and three should be moving when I click on the background there I clicked on it and you can see they're all moving one's moving at a slower pace at one step at a time two is moving at two and three is three now when you do this make sure you do the same with four and five and when I'm going to show you the next activity oh that's random numbers random numbers means the computer will choose the speed of the snail and that's pretty exciting because the computer autonomously will just choose a random number and that will mean that the computer makes a decision and it will move so look when clicking on the background we're going to make snail one must move a random number random number of steps between one and ten so it's going to move forward and i want to choose random a random number between one and ten now we do two I can't put it over there because the same thing will happen as what I previously showed you. Automatically, snail 2 is going to be moving in a random amount. So if I go over here, look at snail 2. It's just moving randomly. But if I click on the background, snail 1 starts moving. So snail 2 should go on the, when on the clicking of the background, which is almost like when the gun fires in a race. Then snail 3... Remember, forward, random between 1 and 10. And then the last challenge, make your own race. Oh, this one, number 4. It's debugging activity. You've got to find the mistake. When I click on the background, watch what happens. Snail 3 is not, is not moving. Snail 3 is very, it's just staying in one place. So you've got to fix the mistake. So if you scroll down. Scroll up. There's snail three. Look at that. There's nothing in there. You must fix that. And then the last activity, make your own snail race. You go over here and you can bring in all the snails over like that. You can bring them into your program and you can make your own snail race. Remember, this is where you, you set your snails. Exit design mode, and here you will make your own. Now, when you are finished, you go over here, ex save and exit, and you'll see a hand in button. Once you press on the hand in button, your work is handed in for marks. Right, remember you go save and exit, and go, and save and exit, and hand in. Okay. Right, so look over here, it says, when clicking on background, young lady, are you paying attention? The snail three must move forward, three, snail one is one, and you've done everything right. Good work. Now let's press, uh, but here it says, this is not right now, because it says, make the snails move a random number of steps between one and ten. Click over the three, click over there, random. Randomize means that the computer is going to choose the number. And the number can be 1, 2, 3, going all the way up to 10. So it could choose the number 10 as well. Now do the same for snail 1, snail 2, snail 4, and the last snail. So do the same as what you did for snail 3 to the other snails. Very good. Excellent. You're doing a marvelous job. Right. And you've still got to do two more snails. And what are we doing when we randomize? We're getting the computer to choose a number. Let's do the race. Play your code. Very good. Click on the background. And look, the computer chose a random number. Excellent work. You've done a good job there. And the bell is gone. When you are finished, guys, you go like this. Red button. Okay, you follow me, go on the red button, save and exit, and it gives you the choice to hand in or not, but I wouldn't hand it in because there's still some work you want to do, so just leave it at that, and you can log out now, Nicole, good work, Nicole, you've done a marvelous job.